Now I'll do it at 6 o'clock. A South Florida man who did not initially want a much-needed kidney transplant ended up changing his mind, and that turned out to be a real lifesaver for him. CBS 4's Hank Tester shares the story of one very lucky man. Tyrone Grooms out and about working his way back from a kidney transplant operation. He's on his walker now, making progress. My body's getting adjusted to the new kidney. Um, I'm getting a little strength back day by day. Uh, more, a little bit more active. <laughs> Family members notice Tyrone's full of life, the same old Tyrone. Once you get a transplant and your transplant is working well, um, you basically get your life back. Tyrone had been on dialysis for five years, really was not much interested in a transplant, but slowly came around after talking with family and his medical team at Broward Health. I think it was just a matter of um, talking to him and explaining him how the transplant works. It's not a new therapy or it's not an experimental thing. It's been being done for a very, very long time. In March, Tyrone put his name on the transplant list and a match came quickly. He was in surgery April 3rd, right at the beginning of the Donate Life Month, which encourages Americans to donate organs. In 2019, nearly 40,000 transplants of various kinds, including kidneys, brought renewed life to patients. Nervous? Yes, very nervous. I was super nervous, uh, scared, um, not knowing what the next day was going to be like or the day after. Tyrone's new kidney came from a young man. Tyrone does not know his name or his family. It was very significant in the fact that their son died on Good Friday, same as Jesus. And he was able to donate me a kidney and I was able to live. And I woke up on Sunday morning with a kidney. It made for a special Easter Sunday for Tyrone and his family. He's doing great. Uh, every time we see him in the clinic, he's got new jokes now. Um, so that makes me that his kidney's working pretty good, actually. I would recommend anyone to go forth with the process of getting on the list. Uh, you never know what God has in store for you. Tyrone, very lucky. The, usually the waiting time for a kidney from a deceased donor, that can be as much as three to five years. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.